everyone! Welcome back to my channel! It's been a while and I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, we will be exploring some bookshops in the Pacific Northwest. Ken and I went on a trip at the beginning of September and we had so much fun. We also checked out some bookish spots, so without further ado, let's go book shopping! The first bookshop we went to was called Left Bank Books Collective, near the famous Pike Marketplace in Seattle, Washington. We started our first day by having coffee and pastries from the first Starbucks and Piroshki Piroshki. And luckily enough, stumbled upon this bookshop while walking around the area. Left Bank is a collectively owned independent bookstore founded in 1973 and sells new and used books. It has three floors and has a wide array of genres and also caters to small press titles. I find this bookshop very cozy and inviting and I love the old vintage ambience including a nice comfy book nook upstairs. I love supporting independent bookshops and I ended up getting a copy of Foundryside. On our second day in Seattle, we went to another bookshop called the Elliott Bay Book Company in Capitol Hill. It's a much larger bookshop compared to the first one and of course with lots and lots of book options to choose from. What I like about it is that the place itself is wide and airy and has tables and chairs if you want to sit down and rest or just read for a bit. It also has a coffee shop inside which makes for a great stop when you need a caffeine boost from all the reading and book shopping. Then I got myself the second book in the Founders Trilogy, Shorefall, and the Bookshop Tote. Um, library but apparently it's closed but anywho we'll still tour the campus grounds and yeah this gloomy day is perfect for some dark academia Dark academia dreams come true for me. <laughs> so aesthetic. Our next stop was an art museum, because what's more dark academia than moody oil paintings and impressionism art, right? The Fry Art Museum is the only free art museum in the city. It holds majority of Charles and Emma Fry's extensive collection of American and European art, which has been bestowed to the city of Seattle as a gift. bookshop we visited was Arundel Books. I have to say, this is definitely one of the prettiest bookshops I've set foot on. The blue door was already a statement piece, and as you step inside, you'll be greeted by the magnificent arch cathedral ceilings with books left and right. I also love the beautiful floor tiles, 
which definitely adds contrast to the interior. They had a wide selection of books and I had a great time browsing. I even ended up picking a book. Not much to say except for the fact that it's the largest independent bookshop in the world, occupying a whole city block. Oh yes, gotta grab the Inheritance Game series, been dying to read it. I spent about 2 hours here on the day we arrived and I didn't even get to see all the rooms. There's 3 floors, 9 rooms in total. I need a whole day here. Of course, I promise to be back. And look, I picked up Abby's new book. Yay! I think I'll try travel journaling again. And yes, I got all the goodies for now. The following day, we visited Portland's Japanese and Rose Gardens and checked out their food truck scene. After that, we explored more shops in the city and made a stop at a stationery shop called Ablation Papers and Press. I decided to do journaling again, so I wanted to get some paper goods for my journaling needs. Overall, I love the vibe. I just wish they had more washi tapes in store. On our third day, we explored the Knob Hill District and came across a bookshop called New Renaissance Bookshop. It was a small one and sold mostly spiritual books. I ended up getting a bookmark and some stickers. Our next stop was a Dragonfly Coffee House. We needed something to get us through the day, and so Ken and I got ourselves coffee and I got matcha latte. This was always featured in Morgan Long's vlogs, so I was hoping to run into her. On to the next bookshop. Mother Foucault's bookshop is a very definition of a tortured artist's lair. Simply put, dark academia vibes. The vintage furniture, Greek sculptures, philosophy and poetry books scattered on the floor. A piano? Are you kidding me? This bookshop was an absolute dream. Highly recommend. As if hours spent here days ago weren't enough, here we are. Are we even surprised? We had hours to kill before our flight home to Boston, so what better way to spend it than Powell's? My husband did see it coming though, so he pulled a Dean on me. I spend my time checking out all the rooms and pulling out books that interest me.
No definite plans since I already spent way too much the first time. But of course, I ended up getting one more. I really enjoyed Powell's. I literally got lost in the stacks. For bookworms out there like me, this is definitely bucket list material. I hope, I really hope you find yourself here one day. So here are all the books and bookish things that I got from this trip. So first book we got is Foundryside by Robert Jackson Bennett from Left Bank Books Collective in Seattle. Next is book two in the series called Shorefall from Elliott Bay Book Company. Next we have An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard from Arundel Books. Then we got a non-fiction book Introducing the Ancient Creeks by Edith Hale from Mother Foucault's Bookshop. So the next five books are from Powell's City of Books in Portland, Oregon. The first one we got is The Inheritance Games from Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The next book in the series is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer and Lynn Barnes. Okay, so the next book I've got is almost like a memoir slash photography book from Orion Carlotto called Film for Her. Next, we have two books from a Filipino artist and author, Abby C., The Art of Travel Journal. And the next one is the complete photo guide to hand lettering and calligraphy. I love collecting bookshop tote bags from all over the world. And so the next items here are the tote bags. The first one is this navy blue tote bag from the Elliott Bay Book Company. The next two are from Powell City of Books. The first one is this canvas tote bag with the green print uh, which I love and the second one is the denim style tote bag from the same shop Powell's and I also got myself this red tote bag from Mother Foucault's bookshop so the next items are just some of the bookish goodies that I got the first a lot is from Powell City of Books. We have a yellow mug, which is always featured in Morgan Long's videos. Um, I got myself a pair of bookworm socks, perfect for the season. And then I got some postcards and an animal pin. Next, we have from the Ablation. Um, stationery shop I got some stickers and something to decorate my journal with the last items are from the new renaissance bookshop are these gorgeous um, bookmarks and stickers that feature nordic codices really really beautiful all right so that's it for now Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in this bookish adventure. Until next time, bye! Stay safe, everyone!